For hours, the media have been camped outside the hospital in Grenoble as rumours circulated about Schumacher's condition. Then the head of the hospital read out a statement that confirmed many of the worst fears. Uh, Monsieur Schumacher has been admitted to the Centre Hospital Universitaire de Grenoble at 12h40. Mr Schumacher was admitted to the University Hospital in Grenoble at 12.40 following a skiing accident. On his arrival, he was in a coma. He was suffering from a serious brain trauma. It required an immediate neurosurgical operation. He remains in a critical condition. Thank you. Schumacher, a keen skier, had been skiing off-piste with his son when he fell and hit his head on a rock. He was said to be wearing a helmet at the time. At first, he was reported to be conscious but a little shaken. However, two ski patrollers were sufficiently worried to order an immediate medical evacuation by helicopter. He was taken initially to the nearby hospital at Moutier, but when his condition worsened, he was transferred to the larger, better-equipped hospital in Grenoble. There, he's being treated by one of France's top neurosurgeons, who's also a personal friend. Fans of Schumacher are already gathering. This man said he jumped in his car and came to the hospital as soon as he heard the news. In a lifetime of motorsport, Schumacher has been injured several times. In 1999, at the British Grand Prix, he broke a leg. After giving up on Formula One, he took up motorbike racing. He was seriously hurt in Spain four years ago when he suffered neck and spine injuries. A hospital spokesman said there would be an update on his condition later this morning. Andy Moore, BBC News.